What's good, YouTube? Uh, it's another uh, vlog video. Um, the one player that I hate in the in the NBA actually. Um, the one player that I hated in the NBA that could that that I couldn't stand. Uh, it might shock a lot of you people. But it's Shaquille O'Neal. Um, I think, you know, prior to him at LSU, uh, you know, I followed his career. I mean, I didn't follow his career, but, you know, I followed him, you know, in LSU because, you know, I mean, I followed LSU, you know, football, basketball. Um, football, I don't know. I mean, I think I may probably, I don't know. But anyways, um, you know, obviously football, basketball, uh, you know, I was a huge LSU fan of both, you know, sports. Um, Shaq, Shaq to me was that type of player that never had the proper tutelage, never had the proper never had the proper coaching, uh, till he got drafted in, in the NBA. Uh, and obviously, you know, he he dominated his rookie year. Didn't know I don't know if he won rookie of the year. Uh, but he dominated his his rookie year. Um Kept on getting bounced out the first round, winning 50-plus games, obviously going up against uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Uh, and when even Michael Jordan was retired, or probably when Michael Jordan actually left basketball to kind of pursue a, you know, baseball, MLB league career, Shaq still couldn't get it done, even if even when Michael Jordan was out. Uh, the league uh, came back, you know, uh, Magic won like 55, 56 plus games, got smoked, you know, um, obviously, you know, his, his, his time in, uh, his time in uh, Orlando was up, and usher, and ushering the new era in, 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 in Shaq. Um, you know, that's when he, you know, found his way in L.A., found his home in L.A. And, you know, him and Kobe is, you know, you know, they got along the first go around, uh, you know, and then, you know, they started winning back-to-back -back championships, kind of like how the Patriots did, the basketball version, uh, football version. Uh, winning, you know, you know, back to back chips until they, you know, ran into a great defense in the Pistons. Similar to the, how the Patriots ran into a great defense in the Giants. So you know where I'm getting at. Um and then, you know, after that, you know, kinda, of, you know, sultered it kind of faltered it kind of faltered downhill. Um, you know, Kobe questioning Shaq, Shaq questioning Kobe, you know, Kobe saying, you know, if you had my mentality, you know, and, you know, stop eating them damn fucking cheeseburgers and stuff like that, like you would have been in tip top condition. And Shaq wasn't the one to really, you know, take that to heart. Like he didn't really actually, you know, take seriously in his condition because I think if he really did, then he would have maximized his, his, his potential, you know? Like, Shaq wasn't the one, you know, to shoot, you know? Like, he only do, like he would only do that in, in warm-ups, you know? Like, he be, you know, in the three-point line, behind the three-point line, joining threes. Like, I got, like, how can you can't do that in the game? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you can't do it in real life, but you can do it in proof in warm up? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't get that. Um, 
what else? Um, you know, like Kobe said that you know if he uh, like if if Shaq had his his work ethic, then you know he would have probably won at least you know five championships. You know, um, you know like it was a little back and forth, and you know, um, you know his 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 body started betraying him, and you know I mean they 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 felt like. You know, like Kobe was the centerpiece, um, and then obviously they 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 built they built around Kobe, and you know uh, Shaq, you know bounced around the league. Uh, you know, like he went to the Suns, he went to the um, he teamed up with LeBron James. But actually, no, 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 that was before. Uh, this time, <clears throat> he he took his he, he took his sons to South Beach. To Dwayne to to join Dwayne Wade, which the, he was already souped up with Lorenzo Mourning and Dwayne Wade and you know and and, and White Chocolate, which is you know Jason uh, Williams. Uh, they was they were like they were they 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 was already souped up. So to add Shaq, you know that boost them that boost their you know their their their. Their, their performance even more, uh, the game even more, you know. So obviously they won. I don't know how many games they won, uh, but I know they 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 cruised through the playoffs and they beat the Mavericks, which you know obviously later on, you know, like several years ago they you know beat Miami Heat. So I'm guessing that was a you know a little you know payback for you you know what you did in 2006. Uh, obviously Dwayne Wade was on the cover. Also, Shaq was on the cover as well, on one of them. Um, Shaq, no, Shaq was in the cover of '08, and then Dwayne Wade was on the cover of '06. Um, but yeah, after that, you know, he's you know, you know, after that, then his body, then his body started betraying him, and then obviously he bounced around the league. He joined LeBron James. He joined he joined uh, Stoudemire and Steve Nash in the Suns. He joined the Celtics. Uh, and then after that, you know, uh, he you know he called it the career. Uh, you know, so you know, as dominant as he was, he didn't really take his you know profession seriously. You know, he never you know. You know that's when yeah, obviously that's when he retired. Then he started taking his conditioning seriously. He lost a lot of weight, uh, so I mean, to me, he wasn't really. I mean, like if you would like if you would compare him to Charles Barkley, that's why I always liked the Charles. You know, Charles Barkley was always that guy, even though they both had the same you know physique. Uh, you know, power, raw. Charles Barkley always had that second gear to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he always had that second, you know, maneuver. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he couldn't get it down in the post, he can shoot. And, 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 and Charles Barkley was a very good shooter. You know, I think he shot like sixty eight percent in his for his career, so that wasn't really that bad. Uh, you know, he would give you here he would grab you ten to fifteen rebounds every night. He would put up forty to thirty five points every night. You know, like he literally went off. He really he literally went off in the playoffs. Um, you know, that's why a lot of people wouldn't. St- when people say like who is better, Charles or Shaq? Charles or Shaq? Shaq, Shaq was great in the post, and that's it. That was his. That was his only. That was his only strength. You know, just like how Superman is powerful than any other superhero. His kryptonite was his free throws, and his kryptonite was he wasn't. He wasn't really a great shooter. You know, like yeah, he could do like he would do sky hooks every every once in a while, and they'll go in. You know, but he was so dominant in the paint that he didn't really need to. You know, he didn't really need to. You know, shoot. 
You know, like these shooters, like these big men are shooting now. You know, like, I think he wants them, I think Shaq wants them, them all to play like he did. But nobody plays like that no more. Shaq, like, that's what Shaq has to understand. You know, Shaq is just repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly beating them in the skulls with, with the same analogy, you know, like, he says, man, you know, <clears throat> let me, hold on, this is Shaq, you know, we're not used to play in the post, uh, I used to bang, um, you know, um, you know, just give me a rock, you know, go to town, you know what I'm saying, um, and I was just that dominant, I didn't, you know, I didn't need to shoot. Uh, you know, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, they were passing me the ball, you know, and I was, you know, back down to do my thing, you know. But it's a different year, Shaq. This ain't 1992. This ain't 2000. This is 2020. Players have to adapt. Players have to, you know, like if everybody was, like picture, like picture everybody in the league. Picture all the centers in the league playing like Shaq. Dominant in the post, but can't shoot for shit. Dominant in the post, but struggles shooting free throws. Cat, Embiid, uh, Cousins, uh, Joker, all of them are better free throw shooters than Shaq. And Shaq was a horrible free throw shooter. Like, I don't know what was up with Shaq and his free throws. I don't know if it was a curse or I mean, I don't know. I mean I mean obviously you obviously you'll have a few point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, you know, uh power forwards miss a couple of free throws, you know, like they're not gonna miss they're not gonna make all of them. But for Shaq, I think that's what I think that's what took a lot from him was, you know, his 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 lack of shooting and his you know his his his, his will to um his will to um his will to you know commit to it. You know, like I think he got away I think he got away from it a lot. Because, you know, he didn't really, he like like I said, he was just that dominant in the post. He didn't really need to work on it, you know. And when he did work on it, he would always miss his free throws. A lot of people talked about his free throws. As big and dominant as he is, he has to shoot his free throws. He has to make those free throws. Like he'll miss, like he'll make one and then miss two. Like, you know, like I'm not really putting that against him, but that was his Achilles heel. And everybody knew that. That's that's why everybody swarmed around him because we knew that he would either make one or miss the other one because he was just that bad at the free throw line. I think he was shooting like under 30, 38%, which is worse in pursuing in pursuit in, in, in shooting percentage. Shooting percentage usually like in the free throw line, if, like if he's shooting somewhere between 81 to 71%, that's good. But if you're shooting anywhere below, anywhere below 55, 40, that's bad, you know. Um, but like I said again, if you look at all the centers in today's NBA, they all can shoot free throws. So that's what I have to say about Jack. You know, I never liked it, his game. You know, uh, he was more of a one-dimensional player to me. I um, mean, yeah, anybody could be great in the pose. Dominique was great in the pose. Bill Russell was great in the pose. But they had that second aura to them. You know, that second sky hook that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had, you know, like they had second... They had a section. They had a second option, you know, to where you know Shaq just you know post me up, back me down, boom, 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 boom. I lay up or dunk it on you. 
That's it. Like, Shaq, like, you can't, like, it, that playing style would not work in today's game. Now, it may work in New York Day because you was just that big and dominant. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, wasn't trying to get, you know, put on the highlight reel. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know. Yeah, I do know Odell Beckham Jr. is related to, you know, I think Odell, I think, um, I think um, Shaq is um, Odell's grand, uh, Odell's godfather, because I think his Shaq and, or uncle, whatever he is to him, you know, I think he kind of get that, I think he kind of get, I think he gets that from. I'm not saying that he gets that from Odell because they're totally two different players, uh, playing to two totally different sports. But you know, um, yeah, I think he gets that aura from him. Um, so obviously, you know, everybody in their, everybody in Odell Beckham Jr.'s family was athletic. So I mean. I mean, that's another thing, you know, if Odell's so, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting out of, off the track, but if Odell Beckham Jr. was so great in, like, he played every single sport and he was dominant in every one, and every single one of them, but if you're picking a sport that has little to do with you, then why pick it? Like, you knew your role as a wide receiver. Now all the time you're going to get the ball. Because it has to go to the running back and it has to go to the tight end. You know? I mean, to look at Odell, I mean, he's not the biggest guy in the room. He's the fastest guy in the room, but he's not the biggest. And obviously, kids kill. I mean, speed kills until you have a great defense or formula. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill didn't do shit in the first, second, or third. You know? I mean, obviously, he made one big catch, you know, that set up for that one run in by. Um, by Williams, but other than that, if you look at his stats in the Super Bowl, he didn't really do nothing, you know. But I think you know if Odell picked it basketball, I think he would have probably been worse. Uh, I think he, I think he really did a good job of picking football, you know, because I think he, yeah, I think if he would have. I think if Odell Beckham Jr. was a basketball player, he would get, he would have been kicked out the league a long time ago. You know, like he would have been a poor man's version of Tawai to Tawai Lu. You know, like great, but you know can't 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 coach him, can't work with them. You know, like he would be he like he would be with those players or those teams. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, and there's a lot of football players that they think that they can play basketball, which they can because some of them were basketball players in high school, in college. But that's college. You know, college, you're playing against boys. You know, in the NFL, I mean, in the NBA, you're playing, the beginning, you're playing against grown men. You know, so that's a little bit different. You know, you played in the collegiate level, you're playing in the pro. It's not, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, uh, that's basically, you know, what I um, what I think of Shaq. Uh, you know, to this day, I still think the same way about him. You know, like he didn't really take good condition. He didn't really take good care of his body. You know, uh, I think his best days was when he was with the Magic. You know. Uh, but other than that, you know, like, 
like this is there's a lot of hypothetical questions like what if he never went to the Lakers like he would be this big dominant big man that never won anything you know what I'm saying but he obviously went to the Lakers repeated after that like they didn't sniff a championship until oh five or six with the heat you know and after that he bounced around a couple of he bounced around the league until, you know, he finally said, you know, yeah, it's time to retire. I can't do this no more. You know, I think his final game was with I think his final game was with the Matt with was with the Celtics. He was the so I think he was with the Celtics when he retired. Yeah, so he just called the quits, you know. I mean, I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame yet. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made it with AI and um, and uh, Yao Ming. Um, but what if, like, what if he never won any championships? I think he still would have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, because of his presence and his persona and his, you know, big, big bigger than life, you know atmosphere. So if Shaq never won championships, I think he still would have been, you know, a Hall of Fame winner. The numbers he put up, the block shots, the rebounds, I mean, passing, you know, you know, like greats like Bill Russell, like like, you know, Hakeem Lajawan, you know. So uh that's just my take, you know. Uh, I think Charles Barkley obviously and I will always say this, like, Charles Barkley is always better than Shaq. Like, a lot of people might gloss over it, but Charles Barkley is better than Shaq. You know, because the one thing about Charles Barkley was he was that dog. Like, he reminded me of a little bit of um, Zion and, and, and Patrick Beverly. You know, like, he was just that tenacious, power forward you know, from Auburn that, you know, Shaq always makes fun of. Uh, there he goes, that that uh, Auburn, you, oh, what is he always saying? That Auburn ed- education. Which, you know, obviously he, he says that for fun, you know, for entertainment. But, you know, I mean, Shaq always comes off as, you know, cocky and arrogant and always, you know, thinks he's better than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always say this. The people, the people that never won rings can tell it, can tell it better than the person who did win rings. You know what I'm saying? Like that one interview where uh, Rachel Nichols was, was uh, interviewing, um, you know, Dwight Howard, and then he asked, she asked Dwight Howard, uh, if you never won a ring, Will that make you, I mean, it, it, she said that if you never won a ring, Dwight Howard, is that a failure to you in some way? She said that, no, because, you know, rings don't define, rings don't define, championships and rings don't define who I am. You know, he said I played this game because I liked it. You know, I felt, you know, a connection to this game. At a young age, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, quote unquote, um, you know, like why don't you play out? Why don't you, why don't you try out for you know football? You're like you'll be a great <laughs> receiver. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll probably be a, like a big. Or if you can't do it in an offense, you'll be a great defensive end. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of look, look at uh, Jordan Cameron from the uh, uh, defensive end for the. For the Saints, you know, like yeah, he'll add to he'll need to add a little bit of muscle, but um, I think like picture Dwight Howard as a defensive end. I think he would have probably fit that, you know, not Jordan Cameron. He reminds me of a little bit, you know, shorter version of JPP, you know, the New York former New York Giants. Uh, you know, like his JPP was like six, six, seven. 
So you know, for for a guy that big, that 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 to, that can move that fast. I mean, I mean, we all know Dwight Howard is not the fastest person, but you line up in between. If you line him up between the A gap and the B gap, then he'll probably get to the quarterback nine times in ten. But anyways, um, he like I said, he he said um you know um. You know, rings don't define who I am. You know, he said that I played this game because I loved it. You know, the, there was a connection uh, to me. You know, f- for this game. You know, and you know, he said that a lot of people quote unquote asked him to play football, but you know, football wasn't in his heart. You know, like yeah, he'll play from time to time, but you know, not you know you know like not for real. Just you know play around, you know, and he said that rings don't define who I am, you know, I uh, said that, you know, you work hard, you know, you, 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 you outwork everybody, you know, you put in the work, you put in the time, you know, you know, when my name is, you know, called, you know, whether I'm here or I'm not, you know, you know, I mean, that's all I can, you know, ask for, so, um, you know, and it's true, you know. Um, you know, look at Charles Barkley, he never won a ring. Um, but you know, he's always remembered as um he's always he, he's always remembered as a guy who who did it for the fun of it, you know. Like you know, I think rings, I think championship rings make you more, less of an individual than you are to have it, you know? Like, a lot of people crack on Shaq because, you know, he was a liability on offense, and Stephen A. Smith would say that a lot. You know, as good as Shaq was, he was a, he was a liability on offense, like, his pose, his pose moves in the pose was was was, was top none. You know, like nobody compete with him down low. But if you ask him to shoot, I mean, he'll drain a couple of times. I'm not gonna lie. You know, he's not gonna miss completely all the time. But you know, if like if you just dare him to shoot, he's gonna miss. You know, his masterpiece, his masterpiece. Was in the post, blocking shots, rebounds. That was his game. But when they asked him to shoot out, he couldn't, you know, and that was his weak point. And his other weakness was he was terrible at the free throw line. Like, if you really look back, Charles Barkley was shooting 61% from the free throw line. 61%. You know what Shaq was shooting? He was shooting below that. So if a game was on the line and he needed to ice the game or tie the game, you bet Tony Barkley would have sank those two shots. You sent Shaq to the line, you boys. He'll probably miss one, make the other one. No, he'll probably break both of them, which he occasionally does. But, you know, that's the, you know, that's the, or in, that's the uh, that's the sport of basketball, you know. Like sport, like basketball is a sport that's you know, you know different, you know. Like you have to guard po- you have to guard multiple positions. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to rebound, you have to block, you have to still sh- you have to still you have to score points. Like, you have to do all this stuff, and then you have to go back on the other end and play defense, block, steal. Like, it's 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 tiring, but, you know, at the same time, you know, Charles Barkley was that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would see Charles Barkley run up and down the court. Shaq wasn't doing that. Shaq waited until you got close to him, or you tried to back him down. For him to block his shots. Like Shaq wasn't doing the hustling. Like you know. Charles Barkley would. You know. 
I, like occasionally, yeah, he'll die from some loose balls. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that Shaq wasn't no dog, but, you know, nine times out of ten, you saw the way Pippen, you saw the way Dennis Rodman played. You know, he kind of he kind of reminded me of uh, Charles Barkley. Uh, just that dog in him that, you know, diving for loose balls and stuff. So, um, you know, that's what I wanted to talk about, you know, with Shaq. You know, phenomenal player, you know. Obviously, you know, Hall of Fame worthy. Um, but, you know, I mean, I think, you know, rings and championships are overrated because just because you win a few doesn't make you great, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I'll continue to say Charles was better than Shaq. He always will be. You know, that's why when Shaq, that's why when Charles, sometimes I'll be watching on TNT, when Charles bring up, you know, valid points, Char Shaq would always refer to, uh, how many rings you got? Uh, how many times you've been kicked out the play? Like, he he would always go back to those old ring, don't have, like, like, you'll, like he'll always go back to those Oh, you don't have no ring jokes. You know what I'm saying? Or, oh, you've been, you know, you know, you know, defeated in a lot of playoff games, which he's half, but wasn't his fault. You know, it was, it was the team. They didn't really, they didn't really want to build around him. You know, uh, you know, obviously Shaq just you know wind up you know landing in the L. A. and landing in. Like your days in Chicago, like just less in Chicago. Your days in um, Magic. Your days in Orlando wasn't really that pretty too, Shaq. Because every single year you was always getting bounced out the first round. Yeah, you had you had you had you know Scott. You had three D and you had Penny and you. But that wasn't enough. So you. Like you, you look yourself harder in the mirror and said that. Do I want to uh, grab five re fifty rebounds, ten blocks, uh, thirty points, thirty one points, or do I want a championships? Do I want to win championships? You know what I'm saying? So you know, I looked in the mirror and I said, you know, I'm I'm going to L. A. Because I know the only coach that can pop, he coached me well, well. It's Phil Jackson, and what do you know? Phil Jackson unleashed. Not really a potential because your potential is already unleashed. Um, no, I actually know he did it because they didn't know how to use you in Orlando. And I think they really got the best. I think LA really got the best out of Shaq uh, when he, you know, three-peated, and obviously he left, you know, you know via free agency. And, you know, he signed with Miami Heat. And then, you know, obviously the rest was history. Um, but other than that, to me, Shaq wasn't that great. Um, you know, like, I would put, like, if I had to rank centers, which I highly don't, I mean, Charles Barkley wasn't really a center, but he could probably play the center position. And that's another thing, versatility. You know, like you can't tell Shaq to guard point guards. Because look how goofy Allen Iverson made Shaq dancing on him. Step back, like he was dancing, uh, 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 step back. Oh, you know, um... You know, like, you can't tell Shaq to go out there and, and guard a point guard. But you can tell Charles Broccoli to go out there and, and, and guard point guards because he was that great defensively. And he didn't really have to wait until you, you know, come close for him to still block a shot or something like that. Um, like, he would, he would attack you on sight, you know, because he had fast and quick hands. So, you know, y'all be the judge. Um, 
comment on what y'all think about this video uh, about Shaq and a little bit of uh, uh, Charles. Um, like who you like who you think is better is the better you know, player. Um, you know, a lot of people say that you know if 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 Charles and, and Shaq were to face each other in a prime, who would win? I think Charles Barkley would win if it had to do with free throws. Um, you know, but anyways, Charles Barkley would have won anyways because again, Charles Barkley was just that versatile. You know, I mean, he could do everything Shaq can do just ten times better. You know, like he can hit his free throws. He can actually shoot. You know, so. I mean, y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, hit that like button. So, uh, share. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, Till next time, take, take care of yourself and each other. Peace.